This poor lady, as you can see in the far left-hand side, has four fingers, not five. One of them has already been amputated. Why do you amputate a finger in a patient with Raynaud's disease? Because the circulation is so poor that they eventually get ulcers and gangrene and they have to cut the finger off to save the patient. This poor lady had uh, Raynaud's disease and scleroderma on top of it. It's over a six month period. On the right hand side is a picture of her same hand two weeks after starting infrared light therapy. It was given three times a week, 25 minutes each treatment in someone's office. The results at two weeks, as you can see that one finger, the ulcer is virtually gone. Her pain is now significantly reduced. Now why would that be? Nitric oxide, nitric oxide, okay, okay. Ulcer goes away, better circulation, pain goes away. Her range of motion is now beginning to increase. She was working with an occupational therapist. After seven weeks, shown on the left-hand side, virtually all three digits have no ulcers. There's actually a tiny one still on this one finger here on the far left-hand side. At this point, seven weeks in, she's off all of her narcotics. She's able to button her clothes and do needlework with those fingers. And she was discharged to home because Raynaud's is a chronic disease, as is scleroderma, with a home Avalon unit, a unit that the patient can use and treat themselves every day without coming in three times a week to the office or to the, to the clinic. And the final photo, uh, as you can see, shows a nice pink, healthy, reasonably healthy uh, three fingers, um, and she was pretty happy. No surgery, no drugs, non-invasive, drug-free. You will walk on water, ladies and gentlemen. You will walk on water. Your old lady, health um, uh, amputation, was because she had an infected ulcer on the back of her leg. She was a diabetic. She had a lot of edema. Her skin was all red. She had a flaking skin. And he said, we just can't heal this. We're going to do surgery and amputate an 88-year-old lady's leg below the knee. He said to a physical therapist who was using light therapy, why don't you try light therapy on this lady? I'll give you a month. And the physical therapist had her brought in three times a week over a period of a month's time and treated the back of her leg over that ulcer, much as like would be done with any Avalon technology. And after a month, the color in her leg is improving. All the sloughing skin is gone. The wound now has edges. It's called marginalized. It actually doesn't look like it's spreading everywhere, but it actually looks like it might have in an outpatient clinic by a physical therapist using just light therapy was able to save an amputation in an 88-year-old lady. years old, 1998, comes from a family that has herpes virus from generation to generation. What the immunological defense mechanism breakdown is, I don't know. But she came in one day and only one half of her face was functional, if you will. She could smile, close her eyelid, but only one half of the face did that. That's called post-herpetic Bell's palsy. She was given a light therapy device to use at home. She used it at home 20 minutes a day. One week later, she was better. Bell's palsy was completely gone. We did not get her back in the office until the following week. So that's her picture two weeks out. Bell's palsy in a 12-year-old girl. May, still in school. Oh, kids, kids are awful, OK? This is a horse's leg. And this horse um, in um, Littleton, Colorado, was owned by a 16-year-old girl. It was a barrel racing horse. 
and it caught its leg in their trailer door and tried to saw it off. Horses don't like to get confined and trapped. So the leg got stuck in the door of the trailer and he tried to cut it off or pull back. And he got a wound that went from, if you will, mid-thigh across the knee and down to the outside ankle. That's what that wound looked like. This was uh, a study done by uh, Dr. Charlie Vale at Littleton Large Animal Hospital using light therapy. Let me see if this will play. Now here's a horse in a stall, not too sterile. This is the scar that's left from that wound. In other words, not only did skin grow back, hair grew back as well. The horse went back to barrel racing. When I say you will walk on water, you will walk on water. 